Hi, it's Leslie Collins with Fabric Farms Interiors and today we're going to talk about stripping down a chair for upholstery purposes. So the first step when you begin to reupholster something is to take the existing fabric off. Right here we see a chair that's partially stripped down and the tool that's most needed to do that is a staple puller. At Fabric Farms Interiors we sell three types. We sell the Barry's Fat Handled Stapler Puller, and then we also sell the Osborne Spoonbill Staple Puller, and the Osborne, also the Osborne Yellow Handled Staple Puller. They're all good staple pullers, and they sell for roughly the same prices, uh, and they'll all pretty much last a lifetime if you treat them okay. The most popular one, the one that we sell the most of, is the Barry's Fat Handle. And the thing about the Barry's fat handle is when you go to take the staple out, it sets at more of a 90 degree angle. So you're a little less likely uh, to uh, slip and stab yourself with the staple puller. Always be careful with the staple puller. If you're right handed, for example, don't ever put your left hand right in front of it because there you're going to jab yourself. So keep your other hand far away from the staple puller. So let me demonstrate now the Barry's staple puller you see it has two prongs there and you can use either side either side of the prong it doesn't work like this it actually works this way so you pick one of the prongs and you move in there to one side of the staple or the other press down a little bit and just give it a nice little rock like so and it'll come loose here's another one like so then you can see it's got two little grooves so a lot of people like to use those grooves to go ahead and pull the staple out all the way like this or some people just prefer to use uh, a wire cutters sort of as a pliers to just pull it out the rest of the way so either way it works really nice sets at a nice 90 degree angle you're less likely to slip the second staple puller we have here today is the Osborne Spoonbill staple puller and I like this one when I'm using, um, when I'm taking staples out of uh, vinyl or maybe a faux leather or leather. Uh, it seems to work pretty good and they tell me it's the number one selling staple in your uh, staple puller in Europe. So it works basically the same way. You want to find your staple and usually you go right in the middle with a spoon bill and you just rock it and generally you can rock it completely out. If it doesn't come completely out then you can always go back with a wire cutters and twist it out. So that's the Spoonbill staple puller. Our last one here is the yellow handled Osborne staple puller. And you see it has two prongs there. It sets at a little bit of a shallower angle but it's nice and sharp. Some people just push one prong down in there to get it loose like that then once it's loose you can kind of slide both of the prongs in there and lift up and a lot of times although not always it'll come completely out if it doesn't come completely out just go ahead and use your wire cutter and pull it out as you go there so there's our three staple pullers the Barry's fat handled staple puller the Osborne spoonbill staple puller and the Osborne yellow handled two-prong staple puller. All available here at Fabric Farms Interiors.